One of the greatest controversies to come out of World War II was whether the atomic bomb was necessary to bring about the war's end. According to Atomic Heritage Foundation, revisionist scholars generally posit that the bombs were unnecessary. Among other claims, they suggest that Japan was ready to surrender and that the use of the bombs could have been avoided if the United States had guaranteed that Emperor Hirohito could remain on his throne. They also argue that the Soviet invasion of Manchuria on August 8 to 9, 1945, rather than the use of atomic bombs, was decisive in precipitating Japan's surrender. An article from the Britannica entitled The Decision to Use Atomic Bombs says that among those who had full knowledge of the Manhattan Project to build an atomic bomb, most agreed that the weapon should be used. However, sharp dissent came from a group of scientists at the project's facilities of the University of Chicago, their leader Leo Zillard, along with two prestigious colleagues, Walter Bartke, a dean of the University of Chicago, and Harold Urey, Director of the Project's Research in Gazeus Diffusion at Columbia University sought a meeting with Truman but were diverted to Byrnes, who received them with polite skepticism. A citizen to them argued that the United States should refrain from using the bomb and that it should share its atomic secrets with the rest of the world after the war. Byrnes felt that he was dealing with unworldly intellectuals who had no grasp of political and diplomatic realities. He neither took their suggestions seriously nor discussed them with Truman, who most likely would have shared his attitude anyway. Zillard and his associates seem to have represented only a small minority of the many of hundreds of scientists who work on the bomb project. In July 1945, project administrators polled 150 of the 300 scientists working at the Chicago site and could find only 19 who rejected any military use of the bomb and another 39 who supported an experimental demonstration with representatives of Japan present, followed by an opportunity for surrender. Most of the scientists, however, supported some use of the bomb. 23 supported using it in a way that was militarily most effective and 69 opted for a military demonstration in Japan with an opportunity for surrender before full use of the weapons. In later years, several key figures including General Dwight Eisenhower, General Douglas MacArthur, Admiral William Leahy, and Assistant Secretary of War John McLoy claimed to have opposed using the bomb, but there is no firm evidence of any substantial contemporary opposition. Most of the scientists, civilian leaders, and military officials responsible for the development of the bomb clearly assumed that its military use, however unpleasant, was the inevitable outcome of the project, although they were forced to formulate an opinion before a single bomb had been built or tested. It is unlikely that a more precise knowledge of the weapon's power would have changed many minds. Truman faced almost no pressure whatever to re-examine his own inclinations. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.